Screens, the popular VNC client for macOS, was recently updated to version 4, and it brings with it several new features. Now, Screens is my favorite way to connect back to my Mac when I'm on the go. And version 4 of the app brings a bunch of notable new features to the table, such as the ability to group screens together, uh, the ability to use curtain mode for privacy, drag and drop file transfers, and more. So in this week's edition of Friday Five, we're going to focus on screens and talk about five features that I appreciate. As I stated, I use screens all the time to connect back to my Mac, as I'm doing right here with this Final Cut Pro 10 project. So the first thing I want to talk about is the one-click password feature. So I'm going to connect to my computer, my MacBook Pro, and now I can either type in my password or I can take advantage of the one-click password feature. I just click this button right here and watch what happens. Password entered and submit it just like that. The next feature I want to talk about is curtain mode. This allows you to black out the screen you're controlling for privacy. So I'm going to click that button and this is what we see on the machine that I'm controlling. So if you're working on something that contains sensitive information, you can black out that screen so that passersby won't be able to see what is going on on that remote computer. Uh, that way you can work in peace. You don't have to worry about sensitive information getting out. You can do your job and once you're finished, simply disable curtain mode to go back to normal. The next feature is the ability to group different remote connections together. So if you have a group of remote connections, say for instance, you control a bunch of computers in a particular office, you can group those all together and, and give it whatever name you want, such as work. And then you know all those computers are work computers. So you can keep work separate from home or however you need to organize it. It just depends on you, but it's super nice to be able to group connections together. Another extremely handy new feature that has found its way into Screens 4 is the ability to drag and drop files. So you can drag from the local machine to the remote machine and quickly transfer files just like that. So I just move the movie file over to my remote connection and it's transferring over. Okay, so the transfer is complete. So now I'm gonna play back that movie file on the remote connection. Pretty awesome. And last but not least, for all you 2016 MacBook Pro owners, there is touch bar support. So now you can enable things like curtain mode directly from the touch bar. You don't actually have to view the menu bar in order to do that. You can zoom in, zoom out, and there are many other functions such as enabling mission control or switching between desktops, all that right there from the touch bar. A very handy feature to have when controlling a remote machine in full screen mode. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at just five Handy Screens 4 features. There are lots more features to consider as well. This is my go-to application for connecting to remote machines, and I use it on iOS and the Mac. What VNC solutions do you currently enjoy using? Please let me know down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.